Okay. What's your name? Katie from New York One. Hi, Katie. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. And so tell me about this event tonight. And why it's, it's good. It's good cause, and we do that for each other. We show up and just help our, help out. And so they're trying to help build a clinic here on Staten Island by tonight's funds. Um, are you guys from where? Are you, are you from Jersey or Staten Island? Or? I'm a Jersey guy. New Jersey. Okay. We're both Jersey, Jersey boys. Guys. Jersey City boys. Okay. All right. That's where we grew up. Well, thank you for talking to us. Thanks, oh, thanks for having welcome, me. <laughs> In front of the banner. We all checked our guns? Yes, all right. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Race, like we go back sticks and oh, like over two years. <laughs> <laughs> Make believe like you know, pull sticks. Molly, come on this side by the banner. Sure. He's probably got the whole banner inside. Where's Tony? 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 Yeah, no, come on. Tony. Tony. Get over on the mink. Always on the mink. Tony. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, brother? Mr. Banks. How are you? Good. Right here, one more. Full face. There we go. Yeah, just turn a little bit this way. Just turn a little this way. There we go. Good. I'm at the Vanderbilt in Staten Island in South Beach where Bright Steps Forward and Therapies for Kids is holding a Cigars and Stars Gala to benefit children with autism and disabilities. We're going to take a look at a special unveiling by celebrity artist Michael Bell who's created something for the founder of Bright Steps Forward. We're going to take a look. Your next star has painted by commission some of the most famous people of our time including actors from The Sopranos, CSI, Mi Miami, Law and Order, Goodfellows, A Bronx Tale, and much, much more. As a celebrity artist to the stars, he has become just as famous as many of the celebrities he's painted. Tonight, he has a very special new piece to unveil. Please welcome superstar artist Michael Bell. Michael Bell. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Very nice. Dominic, tell me what you're doing here. The, what? Oh, no, I won't. <laughs> no. So tell me about Michael, the artist Michael Bell. How do you feel about Michael Bell and his work for autism through his artwork? What I found out that uh, art is something that always stays with you. You know, and if he can capture a picture of Joey Dennis Foley with a little boy, uh, that image will stay with people. However, in real life, life keeps moving on. And I think movement is good for autistic children. A friend of mine works with autistic children. Made them do hula hoops. Two little eight-year-old boys, twins. They did the hula hoops. All of a sudden, they're talking like their mother and father never heard them talk before. Why? Because of the movement. So we know that someday there's going to be a cure somewhere. It has to do with movement. There's got to be some answer somewhere. And the image of uh, that Michael Bell did, I think, is important. Uh, Thank you. There's an. Hope. 
Let's so, say that one more time. Michael's, Michael Bell's uh, image is important to remember. And the picture of Joey with the little, with the little baby is uh, it's a very moving image. Annette Benedetto Cavallari is the president of Bright Steps Forward. Tell me about Bright Steps Forward. Bright Steps Forward is a nonprofit organization that raises funds for children with any type of developmental delays, whether it's autism, cerebral palsy, traumatic brain injury, any kind of developmental delay from birth. What we do is raise funds for children to go to a three to four week program of intensive pediatric therapy induced by hyperbaric oxygen. It's a one-two punch that really seems to work. And what is the hyperbaric chamber? Hyperbaric chamber is 100% pure oxygen flowing through their blood, flowing through their, their, their skin, it gets into their brain cells and sort of awakens the brain so that when they do go into therapy after the oxygen, they're awake, they're alive, and they're like a sponge. They can absorb all of the wonderful therapy that we have to give the children. What are the ages of the children that are helped? Children come to us from six months old to 40 years old. It doesn't have to be just children. We sort of specialize in children because it seems to happen to them around 18 months old is when you start to see that your child's developing slowly. So that's when we like to get them in and do an evaluation and make sure they're okay. If not, we're here to help them. And how did you feel about Michael Bell's uh, unveiling tonight of the painting for Eileen? Well, Michael and I have been talking about it for weeks, and it was a surprise for Eileen. I can't, I'm absolutely thrilled over it. And I hope that it meant as much to everyone else as it did to Michael and I, because it was really fabulous. Really fabulous. I love him for doing the great things that he does for us. He's a great guy. Thank you. Eileen, tell me about Therapies for Kids and Bright Steps Forward and why you founded the organization. Therapies for Kids does intensive pediatric therapy for children with cerebral palsy and autism. I have a son, Lucas, with cerebral palsy, and he learned how to walk and crawl using intensive therapy and hyperbaric oxygen therapy together. And so we started the clinics. We have five clinics now, but we realized a lot of children cannot afford the therapy. So I created Bright Steps Forward, where we raise money for children on fundraisers like this, and we hope to raise lots of money tonight so that we can get some kids through therapy. And tonight, Michael Bell unveiled a very special painting. Tell me how you felt when you saw the painting. I was absolutely beside myself. It was my son, Lucas, with Joseph Ganescoli, who's our national spokesperson. And Joseph and Michael have been absolutely wonderful to us. Everyone loves them. The picture is going to be with me forever and a day. Uh, before we get on with the, uh, the ceremonies, and the introductions, someone, uh, a very close friend of our national spokesman, Joe Ganescoli. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to our national spokesperson. He really has raised the bar for Bright Step Forward. Please, your national spokesperson, Joe Ganescoli. Uh, Joe, tell me uh, how you felt when uh, Michael unveiled the painting to Eileen tonight. Uh, I was mostly touched, and the, he really captured uh, Eileen's son, Lucas. And uh, you can see that little gleam in his eye. And um, I'm, uh, you know, a little bigger on the painting than I am in person, and uh, a little better looking than what he portrayed. But that's okay, as long as he captured Lucas. This man needs very little introduction. He's a television movie producer, former NYPD detective. French Connection was based on his life. That movie won an Academy Award for Best Picture. He has produced over 35 projects in New York City. Hey, this guy has had some life. The one, the only, Sonny Grasso. Sonny Grasso. I'm talking to Sonny Grasso. Sonny, tell us how you got involved with coming to this event, Cigars and Stars. I produced the show that he was in. And uh, it was on for a couple of years on, on the network. And his wife worked for me in my office. And he met her in my office and married her. Wonderful. And they have a baby who has this disease, you know. And uh, so we're, we know each other for a long, long time. Like I know you, you little son. <laughs> she used to work for me. 
Thank you, Sonny. Were you here? Did you see the unveiling of the painting that Michael Bell did? Tell us about Michael Bell's artwork. How did you feel when you saw that? Well, you know, the guy is like, I, he's like from another planet to, for me. He is so talented and such a, you know, I was a painter. I was a cartoonist. I, I worked for Al Cap, you know what I mean? And so when I see things like that, really inspires me that anybody could have that much talent to put down on a canvas, you know what I mean? So uh, thank God, thank God for people like him, you know what I mean? And it's just wonderful that he's involved, you know what I mean, in this thing here, you know? Your next star hosts WFAN's Talking Baseball, where every major league baseball star past, present, has done his show. He may be the next public address announcer in the new Yankee Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Baseball, Ed Randall. Ed Randall from WFAN. So tell me what brings you to Cigars and Stars tonight. Uh, I met uh, Joe Ganiscoli on the uh, ramp at Shea Stadium two years ago. He stopped me and said that he loves my show on WFAN which I know you never miss it. You never, you never, you've never I, heard it, no, so you never miss it. I always watch it. No, it's listen, actually, it's radio. Listen, it's radio. I meant listen, I know. Oh, I love when you get <laughs> feisty like that. I love when you get feisty like that. Mm. So I met Joe Ganiscoli at Shea Stadium a couple years ago. He stopped me, because I live in the ballpark, basically, because I'm a baseball guy. My show is called Ed Randall's Talking Baseball. Said he loved listening to the show on Sunday mornings on WFAN, and a friendship was struck. And then he called me a few weeks ago and said, uh, can you come to this? I was supposed to be in small claims court tonight, actually. And I had my attorney represent me at small claims court and get an adjournment so I could be here tonight. Joe asked, to be, asked me to be here, so here I am. Well, tell me about Michael Bell's artwork. Did you see when they unveiled the painting? Yeah, it's he, very impressive. T tell me about his, uh, how you feel about it. Well, his I'm, not, I, I, I'm not a connoisseur of art, and I'm not going to stand here and tell you that I am. But I was very impressed with his work. I know he has a tremendous reputation, and I think it's great that he lends his name to this organization. Your next star has a beautiful voice and has appeared with giants such as Tony Bennett, Joel Gray, Joan Rivers, Vic Damone, and many others. You can only say, you can really honestly say tonight, she's the only so real soprano here. Let's have a warm, you'll get that on the way home. Let's have a warm welcome for the one and only Christina Fontanelli. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much. And I think Michael's work is incredible. My name is Christina Fontanelli, by the way, and I'm delighted to be here singing for this great event. And the fact that Michael took his time and designed such a beautiful piece of art for this great cause is just, it's wonderful. It really is. And uh, I just love, I met Nestor and Debbie, Nestor Serrano, and they have the beautiful little girl, and that's why I'm here, you know? Your next star is an actor who has been uh, a regular presence on stage, films, TV since the early 80s. He's been very active recently in the theater, and tonight he is this evening's auctioneer, the one and only J.O. Sanders. J.O. Sanders. Well, tell me what brings you to Cigars and Stars tonight. Uh, I am here to support Bright Steps Forward. I was introduced to it by uh, Nestor Serrano, who's an old friend, and what he's been through with his daughter, he and his wife Deb have gone through an incredible learning curve and have shared it with their friends, and a number of us really wanted to be here and be a part and, and support in every way we could. Are you familiar with Michael Bell's work? Were you here when he unveiled the painting? I I've, was not here when he unveiled the painting, uh, but I am familiar with his work. Yeah, it's quite terrific. Well, tell me how, what you, um, you know, how do you feel about auctioning items for charities like Bright Steps Forward? Uh, it's really about trying to raise awareness and raise as much money as we possibly can to support these families that have a very, very real need uh, to, to find answers, to find education about what they can do for their kids and to find answers like the hyperbolic uh, oxygen chambers uh, and to find, to help build centers where they can receive the kind of therapies that all these kids deserve. Uh, and I'm very excited that this was sort of a beginning of getting the word out with a large group of people and hopefully it will just keep growing. 
Your next star is an actor who started more than 70 feature films, including JFK, Nixon, Three Amigos, an officer and a gentleman, to name a few. He currently stars as Ignacio Suarez, the widowed father to America Ferrara's Ugly Betty. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Plana. Tony Plana. I have a couple of friends, and uh, they asked me to come tonight, and they told me what it was for, and I, uh, um, I connected with their cause. Uh, we have a couple of close friends who, uh, you know, they parent uh, kids with CP, and uh, we, we know their struggle intimately, and uh, this organization uh, is remarkable in terms of what it's doing. It's cutting edge, it's taking it to the next level, and uh, it's an organization that should be recognized and, uh, and should be funded, should be supported. And so that's why we're here tonight, to help the cause and to, to get, have more kids, you know, that, and parents that can afford the kind of uh, very expensive treatment that these kids uh, require, uh, receive it, and uh, make their lives uh, better, easier. Well, I'll tell you, Michael Bell is a celebrity artist. He's worked for the show The Soprano, and what he did tonight earlier was he drew a painting of Joe Ganascoli, the national spokesperson, with the child of um, the founder of the organization, and he wow. unveiled it tonight. That was wonderful. You know, uh, I, I tell you, tonight the reality of these kids was unfolded for us, just like that painting. Um, unless um, you know unless you see these kids you know up close like this and 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 intimately um you don't realize how needy they are but at the same time how beautiful beautiful truly beautiful they are they deserve our love and our support so